Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that. If you're returning, how are you doing? What we're going to be talking about today are new laws that were signed uh, to protect Floridians from the global elites. Uh, Ron DeSantis signed some bills into law that he says are designed to protect or prevent, let me just say that, global elites from forcibly taking away the rights of Floridians. There's a House bill. Uh, 989 will increase protection for customers of financial institutions from unwarranted cancellations and restrictions. And the bill also reduces the Florida state government's preference for larger banks by allowing community-based credit unions to hold public funds. But that's not all that HB 989 is about. This is exactly what is in the bill, okay? This is exactly how it reads. It says, Chief Financial Officer creates federal tax liaison position within DFS, provides that upon diagnosis of cancer. Firefighters are entitled to certain benefits, provides additional grounds for qualified public depositories to be suspended and disqualified, provides reimbursement schedule requirements for emergency services and care under workers' compensation, provides qualification for all lines, adjuster licenses, authorizes OFR to receive complaints from customer or member who reasonably believes a financial institution has acted in bad faith in taking action restricting access to such customer or member accounts, provides circumstances under which property is presumed unclaimed, provides circumstances under which virtual currency held or owing by bank organizations are not presumed unclaimed, revises date on which stocks and other equity interests in business associations are presumed unclaimed, provides that certain intangible property held by attorneys in fact and by agents in fiduciary capacity are presumed unclaimed, provides that state assumes custody and responsibility for safekeeping of unclaimed property upon good faith payments or deliveries of property to department. Then we have HB 1291, which prohibits teacher preparation programs from indoctrinating and teaching prospective teachers distorted versions of significant historical events. And the bill further prevents identity politics from being put into teaching methods. So HB 1291 reads exactly like this. Educator preparation programs prohibits courses and curriculum of teacher preparation programs, post-secondary educator preparation institutes, professional learning certificate or certification um, programs, and school leader preparation programs from distorting certain events and including certain curriculum and instruction, and requires teacher preparation programs, post-secondary educator preparation institutes, a professional learning certification programs, and school leader preparation programs to afford candidates certain opportunities. Now, DeSantis said this. He said, we pride ourselves for standing up for folks and doing what's right, particularly in the face of other people's agendas outside of Florida, outside of the United States even. And he added that the movement is driven by an agenda to dissolve the way of life of everyday people. And they want to phase out basically our way of life. Okay, this is him speaking on a lot of different things and impose this and impose that. And so we nipped it in the bud uh, with the cattle ranching bill, he said. And he noted that Florida was the first state in the U.S. to ban Chinese nationals affiliated with the CCP by, uh, from buying um, land. And then added that other states have since followed suit. He said they wanted farmland. They wanted land you know, on military bases. And they're not doing that to contribute to America. They're doing it for their own interest, he said. And Florida was also the first state to ban CBDC um, from being recognized as legal currency. And DeSantis noted that this would be used to phase out cash and move to a digital dollar that would be subject to the federal government's supervision. 
he said they'll have supervision on how you use that and that totally comes out of this playbook where you have these elites right that want to impose that down and they've bragged about it and it's true they've bragged about it and it's disgusting he said that this bragging is happening during the wef's meetings in davos switzerland and he also said that panelists have openly stated that people would be cut off from their cbdc if they do things that they don't find um fitting that the elites and their agenda such as purchasing firearms or fuel it's like well who the flip-flop are you <laughs> you know what i mean it's like who the hell are you to say anything? Like I've said before in many, many times, the day you start paying my bills, putting food on my table, putting food, clothes on our backs, uh, that's when you might be able to have a say in anything. But until then, shut up, sit in a corner, put on your dunce cap and don't move until I tell you to. Because you are not going to have a say in anything, in any aspect of my life. None whatsoever. Hmm? All right, guys, I'm out of here. I will see you in the next one. You stay safe, you stay positive, you keep prepping, and as always, fear less. Ciao.